In this part, we are going to deal with the processes of heat transfer. Now we know that the process of heat transfer can happen either in the presence of medium or without the medium. Now there are three broad processes of the heat transfers like the conduction, the convection and the radiation. So we are going to deal with all these three topics in detail in this part. Let's move ahead to the new topics, heat transfer, heat capacity and thermal expansion. What is heat transfer? Now as is very evident from the term, heat transfer is the phenomenon by which the heat is being transferred from one body that is at a relatively higher temperature to a body which is at a relatively lower temperature. Now this transfer of heat that I say, now this transfer of heat can take place through various methods like one very common process is through conduction. Conduction. Now what is conduction? In conduction, the heat is directly conducted from a body at higher temperature to a body at lower temperature through the presence of a connecting medium or a conducting medium like a rod. If you see in here, here there is a fire that is burning and then here is a person. Now if you bring a metal rod that can conduct and place it here, it will get heated right? with time. If you are holding this with your bare hands, you can feel the heat at this place in your hand after some point of time. Why is this happening? This is happening because this rod is providing a path to conduct, a, conduct, a way of conduction of heat. So this is one way. Now the another way of uh, transfer of heat is convection. Now what is this convection of heat? The convection is a process by which the air normally it happens in uh, fluids so that fluids can be gases or liquids so what happens that the liquid that is in contact like this if you see here in this region which is in contact with this hot body which is a fire here this will get heated what happens as it gets heated it becomes light because on heating it expands right as it expands its density will decrease if its density decreases it will become lighter and it will flow up so what happens that the air that is here it will go up and the colder air comes down, right? That lighter air goes up and the heavier air, which is the colder one, comes down. So in this way, the heat that was here, it has been transferred upwards and then the colder air has come down. It will again get heated, it will go up. So the heat is being transported in the upward direction. Now here, if you see, here also the medium is needed. Here also the medium is needed. In both of this process, if you see the medium is needed, here it's this rod here it is this but the process is different if you see here is the conduction the medium which is conducting it is movable here it's not movable what is the, uh, who is the one who is supporting the conduction here it's actually the atoms in the rod how is it happening it's happening like this so if you have a rod you have the atoms I draw it like larger atoms what happens as you heat heat means it gets energy it starts vibrating Right? What happens? When it starts oscillating, it will hit the nearby atom and it will also start oscillating. This will hit the next one and consecutively this oscillation reaches here. Now what is this oscillation? This is oscillation is higher energy. So this higher energy is actually the heat that has been transported. So that is how conduction takes place. You have seen what is convection. The last way, another way is the radiation. Now this radiation, it does not need the medium to travel does not need a medium to travel it doesn't need any medium even if it's a vacuum even if it's a vacuum the heat will be transferred but that won't happen in the case of conduction and convection if you have a vacuum there won't be any conduction or any convection because there is no medium here the medium was the atoms of the solid one the solid rod here it was the medium was the air so there was a medium if you don't have a medium then there won't be any conduction However, the radiation can always take place. Like, if you know that the rays from the sun, they are, they are composed of all the wavelengths, right? From like infrared to ultraviolet. All these rays, these are the radiations. These radiations come from come in the medium of in vacuum. If you know, uh, the, in the upper atmosphere, we don't have any medium. There are no atoms or molecules. Even from there, the light is able to reach here. That's how, that's how we receive the sunlight. 
So if it's able to reach there, it's because the radiation don't need a medium. It can travel all the time. If a medium is present, it's fine. Even if it's not there, again it's fine. Okay.